Super Coin Crew here where it's non-stop Nintendo. We are talking about Mitomo and lots of tips and tricks. My name is Kate and I'm Nikki and this week on Super Coin Crew we just put up a review on the Nendoroid link. Shout out to Good Smile right. sent to us. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Super Coin Crew for an opportunity to get your hands on an Nendoroid link. Super cool. Yeah, and later on in the week we're going to have 107 facts on the classic Super Mario World. Love it. And we're also going to be doing our top 10 Super Mario enemies. Yep. Ah! I had, we had such a fun job like putting that together. Yeah, and we're going to just be playing some more Splatoon and we're also going to be doing another Splatistics. But first, Mitomo. Yeah, and we did a walkthrough on the channel about Mitomo and we missed a couple things because it was our first time playing. I wanted to boot it up really quickly because I've had such a hard time with this one game in particular. So as you can see, you know, um, you can play lots of games. Um, and there's a cat one that I have one game ticket left. And I and I saved it just for you to tr try and see if you could win it for me. All these games, mm -hmm. and these are kind of what you're going to be spending your game tickets on. Yep. More about how to earn game tickets and coins later. But in the shop section, they're going to have these games. And they're going to be rotated out. They have like actually expiration dates. So you yep. can see like until April 17th, April 10th. You know, and there was actually another flower section. One. Yeah, a flower themed items. And they're exclusive to the games. So you'll only win them mm -hmm. as prizes. Mm -hmm. And... In this one right here, cat style number one, it's this cat companion available. It goes on your shoulder. Available in three colors, black, white, and gray. Yeah, and he's right there. So the object is trying to get your me, or yep. just any person me that's in I there. I spent like 20 game tickets trying to get that cat. So I played it where I want to hit select the ticket. Yep. And I played it where I've dropped him down here, and he bounced off of that left. Uh -huh. little bumper, the small yeah. one, and landed on it. Yeah. I played it so I dropped it on top of the bumper that's sliding back and forth, uh -huh. and it kind of like l softened the fall. Uh -huh. But you're saying to just do this, we'll wait till he's on his side. Yeah, where he's like, come. Mm. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Why did you do that? There was a little bit of a delay. I got oh, some candy, I got some candy my though. Gosh. I was really hoping you'd win it. I didn't win it. Oh, that was my only ticket. Right, no, 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 no. I'm saving my coins because I spend them every day. I always buy new clothes. Better luck next time. Thanks for dropping by. Didn't get it today. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I have them. Well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks a lot. So to actually play the games, you need game tickets. That's right. So when you actually play the game a lot, you can notice in the bottom left that there's two levels that you can like leveling right. up and their style yep. and popularity. That's right. Popularity, we'll get into that, but if you hit certain benchmarks and milestones, yep. so if you hit 20 friends, yep. you get 10 game tickets. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It's like 1, 3, 5, 10, and then 20 15 too. For, for levels. Oh yeah, so every 5. Yep. And you can win game tickets that way. Yep. And as well as when you hit those benchmarks for your style points. Style points. As well. So when you're like level 5, and even when you level up in between, like level 11, level 12, yep. every time you level up, you get a game ticket from Mitomo. And you also get like those crowns too. Like yeah. those like benchmark crowns that you can wear. How do you level up your style level and your popularity level? Like what do you actually have to do to do that? So the best thing for popularity, and it deals with engaging with your friends. That's and right. that means commenting, uh, listening to answer, answering questions. Adding friends. Adding friends. Giving hearts is good. Yeah, and doing all the things that they kind of wanted you to do in this game. Yep. And then what about style? You know, shopping, right? Mm -hmm. Buying stuff, making outfits, mm -hmm. you know, adding a star like, oh, I like these items together. Yep. And then the simplest thing that you can do is just change your outfit daily. Yep. Or just like every 10 minutes, just like throw on a different shirt, take off the shirt. And just change your outfit. And just, yeah, yeah, leave your closet, go back in, change <laughs> yeah. your outfit. Yeah, you made a bunch of outfits, actually. I made like 85 because <laughs> I was like, so many. I need more game tickets. <laughs> so many. Um, well, you know, Mitomo certainly has been really 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 popular and we're gonna address some super really cool tips and tricks I mean it came out March 31st but yeah. April 1st is really the day that everyone was aware of it and that was when they hit 3 million total users worldwide worldwide yeah that's crazy well, Japan did have it for a little bit and they were already in the millions so yep. I think just accumulatively, you know, North America got it, and now everyone's downloading it. Mm -hmm. it. Three million is just like a huge number. And I have three million friends on the app already, so it's really hard to find everyone and add them. Well, you bring up a good question, like, how do you add people? Like, there's so many people in the comments like, I don't have Twitter, I don't have Facebook, it's pointless for me to get the app. That's right, and I don't have friends in real life, so how do you? Yeah, because if you don't have friends, you can't answer people's questions, you can't listen and comment on them. So yep. 
how would you engage in the app? Well, you certainly need a couple friends at first, just right? A couple, yeah. yeah, just to kind of get started. I mean, I told my friend to download, and he's like, now what? And I was like, oh, I can't add you until we're, we meet in person. Yeah. So next time we hang out, we're definitely going to, you know, add each other. But you know, he can tell his friends that he sees, you know, maybe his school friends or maybe his work friends or things yeah. like that to download it and they can add each other and then they'll tell people that yeah. sort of thing. So right? if you lack in social media and if you add at least one person, mm -hmm. you know, face to face, yep. then as soon as you do that, you can actually just mine through your friends' friends list. That's right. And you can actually just go, oh, look at all the friends I have and just send a request. Yep. Just like you would almost on Miiverse or Nintendo. Like yeah, yeah, you could say send friend requests and then they can see, you know, who you are and whether or not they want to accept it or not. It'll actually say one mutual friend in common too. Yeah. So which is pretty cool. And sometimes there'll be suggested friends as well. Yeah, I think that's the best way to gain friends in the app. That's right. Let's talk about some tips and tricks though. So we've been talking about using the app, playing it every single day, but like what are some things that we can do on the daily basis or even on a weekly basis to help uh, raise our level, get more coins, get more tickets, all that stuff. What can we do? So every month, they're gonna block out a calendar. You, you see sometimes uh, being prompted in the app, but by playing every day, there's daily bonuses. Yep. And here it is right now. You can see all the things that you can do. So if you play on this day or that day, you might get coins, coins candy, candy, tickets, all that sort of stuff. And actually, when you play in the first seven days of it launching, you get an extra bonus too. Yeah. Oh, you saw that. And that all goes into your gift box. Yep. So those are like in-game currency. That's your coins and your game tickets. Mm -hmm. And there are other ways that you can earn coins as well, aside from your Nintendo missions, which is in the bottom right in menu. menu yep. So to earn coins, you can comment comment on other people's stuff yeah. you get coins that way you get like 10 coins i believe yep. and for answering questions you get about five when like me your me will say hey like what's the last thing you ate yeah you get coins for that and also for listening to your friends yeah so you can comment it will display actually in the nintendo missions like how many you can do and i think that's what we're caps at like right listen to 10 friends right and like you can continue listening to friends but you won't get the coin bonus right on a daily basis you there's like a maximum number of times and it's basically a maximum number of coins you can get by doing those actions yeah but you can do it daily you can do it right. every single day right and that's in addition to getting the daily bonus for playing yep and that's in addition to your mitomo points yep which is uh goes hand in hand with your my nintendo so yeah let's points. talk about that so there's there's coins that you can spend in the shop you know basically on clothes right then there's game tickets which you can spend on games right but then there's the mitomo points right yeah. which these act essentially like platinum points now we've talked a lot about mitomo we talked a lot about my nintendo the yeah. new base club nintendo service right so if you log into my nintendo you'll do the little walkthrough you'll see uh you'll see three boxes right yeah there's three chests that are kind of huge right behind your me there's mitomo mm -hmm. there's platinum and there's gold points right the mitomo ones can only be earned through mitomo right the platinum ones can be earned not only through mitomo but other things like i I believe under the My Nintendo missions, there's things like sign into the eShop every week, uh, sign into Miiverse every week, and go to the website every week. You get like 30 coins each for doing that, and those go into your Platinum. And the great thing about the Miitomo and the Platinum is that they kind of act as the same currency mm -hmm. in the sense that you can use your Mitomo coins that you earn in the app yep. for actual digital content. Like get Zelda Picross, which is exclusive right. to my Nintendo. That's right. It's you, a thousand coins. It's a thousand coins. So you can do like 500 Platinum, 500 Mitomo, and that will equal it. And there are also coupons available, like 15% off yep. Wind Waker HD, a Link Between Worlds. That's right. Lots more stuff. And actually you can get virtual console games, but the only way you can do that is if you use gold coins. But you can only get gold coins by buying games down, uh, that are downloaded, right? So this is almost like where the Club Nintendo right. comes in, where right. you would scan in your, almost like your receipt. You yeah, that, that you get from the game or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so as long as you're buying it digitally from the eShop, mm -hmm. and they will add gold points to your account, which will contribute to you buying some more items like that. That's exactly, like, yeah. exactly. So I'm hoping that in the future, uh, not only do we have the chance to use our Mitomo coins on maybe like really exclusive items, like, oh, the Mario suit, right? Yeah. The Mario suit you is bought an exclusive. It ASAP. You bought it. <laughs> I did. I did buy it. For 250 platinum co uh, coins, yeah. you can buy the Mario suit. That's an exclusive item. I hope they do a lot more of that stuff. Like, give yeah. me like a Link costume. Splatoon. Or something like that. An Inkling thing. Yeah. yeah, that would be um, awesome. Like, could you imagine walking around with like a Spider yeah. shot or something? And even just the costumes and just clothing items 
you can just spend your Mitomo coins on, you know, game tickets. Mm -hmm. Like it's a great deal for right. two fifty. Right. You get ten. For ten tickets versus we can only buy once actually. <laughs> well, redeem, redeem yeah. it one time. You can redeem it once. Whereas the five tickets is worth four twenty, and you can buy that twice. Right. But that's eight forty coins. I know. For ten tickets. I know. So definitely buy the two fifty for first, the ten tickets. First. First. Yeah. yeah exactly. Absolutely. So basically, what you should be doing every single day, make sure you're interacting with Mitomo if you want to get those coins and you want to get those uh, Mitomo points. Um, as well as logging into the eShop every week, logging into Meverse every week, and visiting the site every week. And also, easy way to get coins, secrets that we kind of yeah. found out, right? If you go to the site every week, um, there's going to be a little platinum coin just right around your meat. Just click that, and it'll go into your box. And that's the weekly yeah. bonus. And then also, way down in the bottom, bottom right. the... Mario block. Mm -hmm. Click that. Scroll back up. Yeah. You can see your me looks a little different. He's holding a parcel like a little present, yeah. and you just click him, and you click him, and you click him, and you click him, and eventually it'll say, "Awesome, you found a secret bonus," yeah. and it gives you coins. So That's super cool. There's a lot of ways to earn mm -hmm. Mitomo coins, uh, platinum points, mm -hmm. my Nintendo points. Yeah, I, def I definitely would say that Nintendo's done a really fun job of like making this a not necessarily a game, but like an experience. Like it could have been just some new boring thing that wasn't really that interesting interesting that everyone forgot about, but it's pretty much all I have been talking about with my friends, oh, you know, in the past, what, five days now, four days, um, you know, we're on Mitomo, it's like draining my iPhone's battery, yeah. <laughs> like, I checked the other day and it was like, 73% uh, of my battery was used on Mitomo on, wow. on Saturday, I was just like, are you serious, that's wow. a lot. Make sure you put power saving mode on. Yeah, you can definitely do that, but uh, it's been great so far. Each week we ask you to leave us some questions in the comments down below, so we've got three questions from you guys that we're going to be answering today. The first one is from Brother Stop Motion. Why is your favorite console of all time, Nikki? Oh, Nikki, just Nikki. Uh, I can't answer that. Can't answer. That's messed up, Brother Stop Motion. I would have to say... I already know what he's going to say. I don't even know what I'm going to say. I think I know what he's going to say. I want to hear what he's gonna say. I think he's gonna say GameCube. <laughs> he was gonna say GameCube. GameCube was so awesome. The <laughs> mini discs. Here's why you're gonna say GameCube. Are you ready for this? What? Uh, because of Smash Brothers. Uh, because Double Dash. Uh, because Resident Evil. Oh, uh, because of the controller. Oh, uh, because of the mini disc. And the mini disc. No, and also they had the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Thing yep. that you get attached to the bottom. Yep. That was so cool. Mm -hmm. I loved Eternal Darkness on the GameCube, which was really scary. Mm -hmm. I loved Kirby's Air Ride, even. Kirby's Air Ride. GameCube and Nintendo 3DS. I think 3DS is my favorite handheld from Nintendo. Absolutely, Air. absolutely. Me too. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down, but hands holding it. Yeah. But still, hands down. Um, the question was just for me, not you. Yeah, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, we have another question from Velasquez Alex. He says, what is your favorite retro games and why you love it so much? And I feel like I've answered this before. I know I said Super Mario World, Mega Man X, and uh, Donkey Kong Country. In the last news. Right, yeah, right. But if we want to go even more retro than that, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is Miss Pac-Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's one of my favorite games of all time. And I play it like on my phone. I play it anytime I'm around an arcade. It's just one of my favorites. Is Double Dash considered a retro game? No. Alright, I'm gonna say Bubble Wobble. Bubble Wobble's great. Yeah. Very good. Very good choice. Last question comes from Carson Long. He says, if you could add a new type to Pokemon, what would it be? That's really tricky. I'm just thinking elemental. I know, right? I, mean, I feel like they've covered so much. Like, when they added Fairy, I was like, oh, I didn't see that coming, right? Like, I wouldn't have been able to yeah. predict that. Like, how are you gonna squeeze it in, and what are the weaknesses and strengths? Right. Um, light? Well, you have, like, normal. Yeah, but like... There is a dark type. I guess yeah. you're right. There is a dark type, so if you wanted to break out a, a separate light type instead of normal. And a lot of the attacks could be like both... Or those Pokemon could be both mm -hmm. electric and light. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like illuminate. You so know. The, you're proposing a flashlight Pokemon. You know, Solar like, beam would be yeah. changed. To a light, yeah. Oh, I got one. Digital. Just like something that was like a computer like oh, okay. Pokemon that Right, like Rotom. Missing number. Oh, like that. Exactly like Or Porygon. Were... Yeah, exactly. Porygon, okay. So like a digital like digit. Diglet. Like Digimon. It would be Digimon. Yeah. Yeah, Diglet would be one for sure. Diglet. Thank you so much for the questions and please keep it coming here on Super Coinku where it's not stop Nintendo and let us know in the comments if you've been playing Mitomo. Yeah, if there's any tips and tricks that we might have missed that we need to be doing, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to join the coin and subscribe. Thanks for watching.